Hey y'all, welcome to fourth grade chapter nine, lesson one. We're gonna go ahead and get started. So these are talking about models using each line as point one, okay? So six out of 10 of them are filled, which is the six tenths, or six in the tenth spot, okay? Now this one, one whole one is covered in, so we're gonna put one point, and then one, two of them are colored in, one point two, okay? So now, it wants us to, oh, to tell them where the dot is, okay? So in this case, it's right here, and then y'all can't really see it, okay? So it's going to be two point, it's in between two and 2.5, so it's going to be 2.123. Okay, or two and three tenths. Okay. Now, this one, the dot is right here. So it's between 4.5 and 5. So it's still going to be 4 point something. Okay, so 5 tenths or 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.7, 0 0.8. Or four and eight tenths. Okay, you can have either one of those, okay? All right, so now we are gonna write the fraction or miss number as a decimal. Well, all we're doing is taking the top number and putting it after the decimal. Now, so this one is gonna be point four. okay? As long as it's over 10, you're just putting the number in the tenths place, okay? This one has a whole number, so you're gonna have the three first, then the decimal, then a one, okay? So all we're doing is taking the top number, putting it in the spot right after the decimal. You guys do eight and nine, okay? Number 10 says there are 10 sports balls in the equipment closet, three are kickballs. Write the portion of balls that are kickballs as a fraction, as a decimal, and in word form. So, Three out of the 10, there's our fraction, which means there's our decimal, okay? And when we say either one of these, we say three tenths, okay? So that's our fraction, our decimal, and our words, okay? Peyton has two pieces. Each piece is cut into 10 equal slices. She and her friends eat 14 slices. What part of the pieces did they eat? So, it says to write our answer in decimal. Well, if, so if they have two pieces and each are cut into 10 pieces, okay? That means they have 20 pieces total, okay? So now, they ate 14 of those, okay? So, they ate one whole pizza, Okay, because it's more than 10 that I'm taking away. And then they ate four more slices. Okay, so 1.4 pizzas. Okay, because they ate one whole one and then four more slices. Okay. Okay, we're going to go into the back where you guys are going to do a lesson check, just like always. Okay, and I'm going to go down to the spiral view. It says to write one number that is a factor of 13. Okay, well, 13 is a prime number. So the only numbers that make up 13 are 1 or 13. That's it, guys. This is the only two numbers you can have. Okay, you can, you can just write one of them, but you have to have one of those two. Okay, an art gallery has 18 paintings and four photographs displayed in equal rows on a wall with the same number of types of art in each row. What could be the number of rows? Okay, so I would say that the only number that goes into four and 18 evenly is gonna be two. So I would put two rows, okay? All right, 
how do you write the mixed number shown as a fraction greater than one? Okay, so we need to do dead man, okay? So three and two fourths, and we are gonna do dead man, okay? Where we, we affectionately call him dead man because if you turn it to the side, it kind of looks like a dead man's face, okay? So four times three is 12, plus two more is 14, and we keep our denominator. Done. Okay. What fraction of this model in simplest form is shaded? Okay, so you guys can't really see it on mine. I'm sure that your papers are a lot better, but these are colored in. Okay. So all together, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So two tens, but it wants it in the simplest form which means two goes into two once and two goes into 10 five times, so one fifth, okay? All right, guys, thanks for hanging out for 9.1. Come on back for 9.2. See you soon.